Hey everyone, Andrea Walford here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this happiest birthday card featuring Stampin' Up's Cool Treat stamp set and the coordinating Frozen Treats framelits dies. The images are stamped in various colors of classic inks and then shaded using an aqua painter and a slightly darker tone-on-tone -tone shade of ink. So let's get started. So I have here four scrap pieces of watercolor paper and I'm going to be stamping four popsicles from the Cool Treat stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping this one, this one that has a little bite out of it. And then I'm going to use this popsicle handle and I'm also going to use this little inner piece here for this popsicle. So I'm going to start with my flirty flamingo and I'm going to ink up my stamp that has the bite out of it. And I'm going to stamp that a little bit towards the top of my watercolor paper piece, like so. Then I'm just going to clean my stamp. So I just have a baby wipe here. And I'm going to grab my peekaboo peach. So I'm going to ink up that exact same stamp. I'm going to stamp that one towards the top of my watercolor paper piece like so. And then the remaining two stamps I'm going to stamp in the popsicle that does not have the bite out of it. So first I'm going to ink up my stamp in Pool Party. And I'm going to stamp that one along the top. And then my final image is going to be and my pear pizzazz. So now for each of my popsicles, I'm going to be adding some highlights with a slightly darker color. So I'm going to start with my peekaboo peach and I'm going to add some shading using pumpkin pie. So I've opened my lid. I've then given it a little squeeze like so. And what that does is that picks up ink on the inside of the ink pad. So it creates a little bit of a palette. And I'm going to be using an aqua painter and I just have a paper towel here off to the side because my aqua painter tends to give off a little bit too much water. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my aqua painter and I'm going to run it over the entire surface of my stamped image and what that kind of does is help smooth out that color a little bit and then when I add my shading it'll just make sure that I don't end up with any harsh lines where uh, moistness meets dry ink. And because this is watercolor paper, I can do this. If I was working on regular cardstock, I would not be able to do this. So now that the surface of my paper is wet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my aqua painter in just a little bit of the pumpkin pie. I don't want too much because it is a fairly dark color. And then I'm just bringing that along the left edge of my popsicle. And around into the corner. There is a little fluff on my image, but I'll pull that out once it's dry. And the die, so we are going to be die cutting these, and the die does cut um, the outline of the image. So it doesn't go right up to the line, it actually cuts into the image a little bit. So I do want to make sure that I bring some of my shading into the popsicle as well. I don't keep it just at the very edge, because otherwise, when I die cut my image out, I won't have any, any shading left. So I'm pretty much keeping my shading to the left of my image and then also a bit along the bottom and into the corner. And essentially what that does is it just adds a little bit of visual dimension into your image. And I'm not squeezing my aqua painter as I'm doing this. So there you can see how that color looks. So now I'm going to set that aside to dry and I'm going to do the same thing 
with my Flirty Flamingo and my Calypso Coral. So once again, I'm taking my Aqua Painter And you can see as I'm adding my water onto my stamped image, what it does is it does smooth it out a little bit. So the, the white area here where the image didn't stamp perfectly was a little bit more noticeable. But when you smooth it out, it becomes a little bit less noticeable. So then now I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water into this. So I just squeezed my barrel slightly and then I'm mixing up a little bit of this. And then I'm just going to blot my water brush because I don't want it to be too watery because this is a fairly strong color. So I don't want it to overwhelm my popsicle. And as you can see, I'm doing the exact same thing. And then this just gives you, the shading is very subtle, but you do get some shading. So what happens is, is it just looks, instead of just being a flat image, your image looks dimensional. So there you can see how that looks. So I'm gonna continue on with my remaining two images. I'm going to be using, for the pear pizzazz, I'm gonna use wild wasabi. And then for my pool party, I'm going to be using some Bermuda Bay. So once I've done that, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So my popsicles are now dry, and now what I wanna do is I want to stamp my popsicle stick. So I have here just a piece of low tack tape. You could also use some washi tape and I'm aligning it with the center bottom of my popsicle piece, like so. So it's essentially creating a bit of a mask. Then I'm going to take my stamp -a jig and my popsicle. Now these are clear stamps, so you don't necessarily need a stamp -a jig, but because I'm filming this, I find that it's a little bit hard to get exact placement without you know, sticking your head in front of the camera. So this way it just makes it a little bit easier. And I'm stamping my popsicle stick in crumb cake. Then I'm just going to remove my tape and there you can see how that looks. And I'm just gonna repeat that process with all of my popsicles. And then once I've done that, I will be back. So I finished stamping the popsicle stick. And before I go on with the popsicle stick, I do want to stamp these little lines in the center of my popsicle. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to use a stamp -a jig And once again, you don't have to. It's just simply for, just to make it easier here. And I'm stamping it in pear pizzazz. And you see, because I used my aqua painter to blend out the color, it actually shows up. Even though we're stamping pear pizzazz on pear pizzazz, it still shows up. And I'm going to do, I just clean my stamp. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with my pool party popsicle and I'm going to stamp it in pool party. So there you can see how that looks. So now what I want to do for all my popsicles is do something similar with this with the popsicle stick. So I'm taking my aqua painter and I'm just using that to kind of smooth out the ink. And then here I have some soft suede and I'm just mixing in a little bit of water because again, this is fairly strong compared to the crumb cake. So I don't want the color to be too intense, but I do want to be able to have some shading underneath my popsicle. So just under the popsicle and then bringing it down a little bit. like so. So I'm going to repeat that for all my popsicle sticks and then I will be back to show you what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut these pieces and I am using the Frozen Treats Framelits dies and I just realized that 
The only die that comes for cutting this size popsicle out is one that has the little bite marks. So it looks like all my popsicles are probably going to end up having bite marks, unless of course I were to hand cut that. And I may kind of decide on that. Um, I'll do these two first and then I'll decide on that. So I'm aligning this over top of my image and then, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this to my big shot and die cut it and then I'm going to come back and repeat that with my other popsicle and then from there I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with these two. So I decided to die cut them all with that same die because if I'd hand trimmed the other ones they would have been bigger because if you look at my individual pieces you see there's quite a bit of the colored area that actually gets trimmed off. So the popsicles would have been of different sizes and honestly I didn't really feel like hand cutting it anyway so I just decided to go ahead and use the die. So I have here my Misty Mini and inside my Misty Mini I've placed the foam pad that comes with it, a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White cardstock and then I've positioned my sentiment happiest birthday which comes from the cool treat stamp set and I've placed it where I want it to appear on my cardstock panel. So now I'm going to close the lid of my Misty and it'll stick to my lid. So now what I want to do, you can see the stamp is sticking to my cardstock. So now before you stamp what you actually need to do is to anchor your cardstock piece down. So I'm going to take some magnets and I'm going to place them on top of my cardstock panel so that when I lift it's not going to pull my cardstock up because I'm probably going to have to stamp it a couple times. Now this is a new stamp that I have not yet used so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to touch it with my skin because I find it kind of helps prime your stamp and helps the ink stick a little bit better. And then I'm going to come in with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm just going to make sure that that is well inked and then I'm going to close the lid apply firm pressure. Then you can see I got a nice dark impression so I'm actually not going to need to double stamp. Now before I move on I'm just going to give my stamp a clean and then I'm going to move my magnets aside and we're now going to continue on with our panel. So my next step is going to be to center and stick my cardstock panel onto my card front and my card is a standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card that I created out of a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Whisper White thick cardstock. So my card base is thick cardstock, but my card panel is just the regular Whisper White cardstock. So now what I want to do is position my and stick down my popsicles. So I'm thinking what I would like to do is have my popsicles kind of staggered and on an angle. So before I start sticking anything down I do want to position them to make sure that they are going to fit. So as long as I position them, them like this it looks like they should fit fine. So I'm probably going to start with the top one I want to place some of my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue on the back. And then I'm going to stick that one down. And I do want to make sure that I keep some of that popsicle stick showing. So there you can see how that looks so far. So now what I want to do is stick on some, some of these um, sequins. These are from the Sprinkles Embellishments. And I wanted to use my fine tip glue pen. Unfortunately though, even with my cap that has this fine pin, I haven't used it in about a year, well over a year, and it still seems to have clogged. So what I'm going to do is there's some glue in the tip. I'm going to take my tweezers and, or not my tweezers, I'm going to take a Q-tip here not a q-tip. I'm going to take a toothpick and pick up the glue and see if I can kind of drag my sequin on the glue and stick it down onto 
my card. The only other thing I could potentially do is just touch my, and that might work better, touch my sequin to the inside of my glue cap. So now all I need to do is let that dry. So I'm thinking at this point, I'm looking at my card and I'm happy with how it looks. I love that extra little bit of bling that the sequins give it. So I don't think I'm going to add anything else. I think I'm going to leave it as is. So there you see it. That's how I created my happiest birthday card using the Cool Treats stamp set and the coordinating dies. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I look forward to creating with you again. See ya!